Did you know certain disability payments and workers' compensation may affect your Social Security benefits? We're going to discuss that today. Also, the way you let people treat you is the way other people are going to treat you. There's no sin in being proud of who you are and showing other people that you are proud of who you are. We're going to discuss that today, too. Welcome to An Apple a Day. Please be aware that the comments, views, opinions shared on this podcast are not meant to diagnose a medical problem and or legal problem. If you do have a medical problem or legal problem, kindly contact a professional. Welcome to An Apple a Day, a podcast, a resource, a community. Share your experiences and learn from others as we overcome barriers and learn to live a happy, healthy life with a disability. Welcome to the community. Here's your host, Jimmy Apple. Welcome to another episode of An Apple a Day. I'm your host, Jimmy Apple. An Apple a Day is brought to you by www.famousapple.com. Famousapple.com is the home site for this podcast. If you get a minute, go over there, check it out. But let me warn you, right now, the website is under construction. Those changes I told you about last week, they're starting to come about. And while they're doing the changes, while it's under construction, the website is still open. But keep on checking back on it because there's a lot of changes coming to the website. A lot. And you're going to enjoy them. Trust me. Now, if you want to get a hold of me, you can reach me by writing jimmy at famousapple.com. That's J-I-M-M-Y at famousapple.com. If you want to reach the administrators of the podcast or of the website, you can reach them by writing admin at famousapple.com. Also, like I told you last week, there's changes coming to the podcast, and we also want you to be a part of the changes. So, You can send us your suggestions. Send them to admin at famousapple.com and give us your suggestions. Tell us which direction you want us to go in with the podcast and we'll work it in. Now, I still can't tell you exactly what's going on, but I will tell you this. There's new management. There's new management that's in charge of the podcast and the website. That's all I can tell you at the moment, but keep listening and I will let you know. So how are you feeling today, my friends? You're feeling good? You're feeling strong? You're feeling better than you did yesterday? Hey, you can't ask for better than that, right? You're doing everything you're supposed to be doing. You're going to the doctors. You're making your doctor's appointments. You're filling your prescriptions. You're taking your medication the way you're supposed to. How about your therapist? You're going to your physical therapy the way you're supposed to? You're doing the exercises the way you're supposed to? Forget about what happened last year. Put last year behind you. Any mistakes you made last year, put them behind you. This is a new year. Reinvent yourself. Do the right thing this year. Start all over fresh. And what about your journals? This is a new year. Did you start a new journal for 2020? That's important to do also. Get the journals going for this year. Keep up to date with everything. If you're not sure how to do the journals, if you go back in the archives, we had a a whole episode on how to do the journals. And if you're still not sure, write me at jimmy at famousapple.com and I'll go over it with you. We have a pretty good one here today for you. I have to ask you, did you know that receiving certain disability benefits and workers' compensation may affect your Social Security disability benefits? It's true. It's true. Some people some people are on the fence about it. Some say yes, yeah, some say no, but this is right from uh, the Deputy Commissioner for Communications for Social Security. So we're going to go over that. And I want to talk to you about people that seem to use uh, disabled people for comedy. In particular, I'm talking about One radio personality. (laughs) Uh, I'm talking about Howard Stern. I've been listening to him for the last couple of weeks, and he seems to like to use people who have physical disabilities for his enjoyment, for his radio program. I don't know if if he actually thinks about how they feel. I mean, he's got people on there that he'll call High Pitch Eric or High High Pitch Sean or... Wendy the slow adult. Uh, well, we're going to go over that. We're going to go over that. And, you know, it's not funny. It, it really isn't funny. And if you let yourself be used by somebody like that for their enjoyment, then there's something wrong with you. Have some pride. The, 
you're more than a joke. You, you're, I've said it so many times on this podcast. You're more than a disability. You're, you're not a disabled person. You're just a person that has a disability. Don't let other people make fun of you. Don't let them belittle you. Don't let them use you as some kind of prop for their enjoyment. But we're going to go over that. But let's get started here. All right, did you know certain disability payments and workers' compensation may affect your Social Security benefits? This is an article written by Mike Corby, the Deputy Commissioner for Communications for Social Security. He writes, many people working nowadays have more than one job. This means they have several sources of income. It's important to keep in mind that having multiple sources of income can sometimes affect your Social Security benefit, but it depends on the source. Disability payments from private sources, such as private pensions or insurance benefits, don't affect your Social Security disability benefits. Workers' compensation and other public disability benefits, however, may reduce what you receive from Social Security. Workers' compensation benefits are paid to a worker because of a job-related injury or illness. These benefits may be paid by federal or state workers' compensation agencies, employers, or by insurance companies on behalf of employers. Public disability payments that may affect your Social Security benefits are those paid from a federal, state, or local government for disabling medical conditions that are not job-related. Examples of these are civil service disability benefits, state temporary disability benefits, and state or local government retirement benefits that are based on disability. Some public benefits don't affect Social Security disability benefits. If you receive Social Security disability benefits and one of the following types of public benefits, your Social Security benefits will not be reduced. Veterans Administration benefits, state and local government benefits if Social Security taxes were deducted from your earnings, or Supplemental Security Income, or SSI. You can read how workers' compensation and other disability payments may affect your benefits to find out about the possible ways your benefits might be reduced. Please be sure to report changes. If there is a change in the amount of your other disability payments or if those benefits stop, please notify us right away. Tell us if the amount of your workers' compensation or public disability payments increases or decreases. Any changes in the amount or frequency of these benefits is likely to affect the amount of your Social Security benefits. An unexpected change in benefits can have unintended consequences. You can be better prepared if you're informed and have financially prepared yourself. Visit our Benefits Planner for information about your options for securing your future. Now you can do this by going to ssa.gov. That's ssa.gov. And there you can find the the reading material that you need and find a lot more information about Social Security disability there. Now, I got another little tidbit for you. If you're receiving workers' compensation and you happen to have a third-party lawsuit, just say you're driving for a living and you have an accident. Now, you're you can file for workers' compensation because you were working, you're on the clock, but you also have a lawsuit against the person that hit you. Well, when you settle your lawsuit, workers' compensation can put a lien on your lawsuit for the money that they paid you. Yes, that's true. But here's the catch. They can only get back the first 50000 Now, I know you're saying, whoa, fifty grand. Ask your lawyer about it. That's all I'm going to tell you. Ask your lawyer about that. Be, be aware. I just want you to be aware of that. You know, when you get involved with these lawsuits and insurances, they hit you with these numbers. It's like game show numbers. But the big loser in all of this ends up being you. The lawyers make their money. The insurance company, well, they pay. They want to pay as little as they have to, naturally. And you're the one that's hurt. So just be aware of it. Ask, if you have a third-party lawsuit and you're collecting workers' comp, ask your attorney about that. All right? All right, let's move on here. I've been saying for a long time on this podcast that we are not disabled people. We are simply people with some disabilities. 
And that goes for everybody that has a disability. You're not a disabled person. You're just a person with some disabilities. And I find it disgusting, absolutely positively disgusting when I hear people mocking people with disabilities. Case in point is Howard Stern. Now, let me just say, start off by saying this. I've listened to Howard Stern since he was in NBC back in the early days. I've seen his movie. I think the guy was a comedic genius. I don't know what happened to him as the years went on. Now it seems like he just phones it in because now he spends a good part of his time just mocking people with disabilities. He has high pitch Eric on his show. He has high register Sean. He has uh, Wendy, the slow adult. He had a woman sitting on his stage in diapers and he was laughing at her because she messed the diaper. She's a slow adult. She had meant that she's mentally challenged, but this was funny to him. I don't understand. I don't understand it. What's funny about it? How funny would it be if that was your sister or your daughter on the stage there? Would that be so funny? Would that be hilarious? Would you be rolling on the floor laughing that some jerk is talking about that she messed her diaper and she stinks? Is that is that humor? Or how about the guy that stutters and you're going to work him up until he's stuttering like a machine gun? Is that funny? Again, what if that's your son or your brother? How funny is that? I don't understand. I don't understand, especially with Howard Stern. The guy said, like I said, he's a genius. He's a comedic genius. The guy's done TV. He's done movies. He's done. He does the radio. He did pay-per-view. But why? <laughs> why does he feel the need to denigrate people with disabilities? And don't tell me that, oh, he's giving them something to do, he's being their friend. He's not being his friend being their friends. What is, you think he's hanging out with them after after the show? He's using them. He's using them to make money. He's he doesn't do his show anymore. He just phones it in. Him and his giggling sidekick there. And I know he's not gonna hear this. And I don't I don't know if I'm mad at him or I'm mad at the people that let him do it to them. All I'm trying to say is don't let people use you. Being disabled is bad enough. Have some pride. Have some pride. And to the people that, that look down at us, because we are disabled. We're not jokes. We're not there for, you, for your amusement. Would you make fun of a gay person? Would Howard Stern have gay people on his show and make fun of them the way he does Wendy the Slow Adult or Stuttering John or wh whoever? No, because they'd be out there boycotting him and marching in front of the place. Would he do it with that, with, with, uh, different races? Would he be doing it with black people or Chinese people? No, because they'd be out there marching in front of the studios. But he feels safe doing it with the disabled. It's disgusting. And it's not just him. I'm just using him as an example because he does it so much lately. And yeah, I, I'm talking about him like this and I listen to him on Sirius Radio. But it's disgusting to the point that I shut it off anymore. We can't let people denigrate us. We can't let people use us. We're not there for their amusement. We're human beings. Every last one of us. We can't help that we're disabled and we deserve to be respected and we deserve to be treated with respect. We're not a prop for someone else to make money off our backs. Don't let them do it to you. You're a, you're a human being. You're a formidable human being. And for people that do do it, like I said, imagine if this was your, your brother or your sister. Do you think that people who are disabled don't have feelings? Do you think for one second the guy that's stuttering on, on a Howard Stern show doesn't know he's being made fun of? Do you think after he hangs up the phone he's not hurt? Give it a break. There's plenty of things to laugh at, believe me. But laughing at another person, that's just not nice. As far as Howard Stern goes, do I think he's, he's the scum of the earth? No. I think maybe he doesn't have to belittle people to be funny. Or maybe I've just matured too much for his type of humor. Maybe maybe it's me. Maybe I don't find him funny anymore. But I don't find anybody funny that feels they have to belittle somebody else to get a laugh. I don't think it's right that you have to belittle somebody else to make a dollar. But that's just me. Like I said, I've always enjoyed Howard Stern's humor. But I don't enjoy attacking somebody else or, or belittling somebody else to get a laugh. That's just me though, I guess. But as for everybody else 
Don't let other people do it to you. Have some self-esteem. Have some pride. Be good to yourself. Demand respect. Well, thanks a lot for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. And I want to remind you of this. No matter what, no matter what, things can always be worse. That's right. Right now, someone, somewhere is wishing they were in your position. So things can always be worse, my friends. I got one more tidbit of news for you. We're going to be doing more than one episode a week from now on, starting in two weeks. That's right. We're going to be going to two days a week in two weeks. So that's something to look forward to. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by this week. I will talk to you next week. Have a great weekend. You people up in the north, stay warm. It's cold out there, baby. I'll talk to you later. You've been listening to An Apple a Day. My name is Jimmy Apple. (laughs) Thanks for listening to An Apple a Day with Jimmy Apple, your gateway to a happy, healthy life. Join our community at www.famousapple.com. See you next time.